Welcome to Projects for All. My name is Mike and today we got something simple to do. This is a desk or a workbench from Husky. This one is 52 inches, but they come in 62, 72, 42. You get them in white, you get them in black, two drawers, no drawers. You can use this for just about anything you could imagine. You need a sturdy table that is height adjustable because it goes from 29 inches all the way up to 42 inches. It's very reasonably priced. 250 bucks is what I paid for this. And this is gonna be the new desk in my house to edit video because the kitchen table just ain't cutting it anymore. So let's get it out of the box. We'll put it together and we'll check it out. Let's see how it is. That is definitely part of the heft of this thing. It's a huge drawer to have for a desk because there's going to be two of them. Some nice pre-mounted roller slides. I'm telling you, the powder coating on this is better than I expected considering how little I paid for this thing. 250 bucks for a height adjustable all metal two drawer desk. You really can't beat that. It's one of our legs. I mean, this thing's got some heft to it. I can see by this here, it's already got the mechanism inside it to ratchet it up and down. I'm impressed. This is heavy duty stuff. We'll check the gauges on all of this, but for a small desk or a little workbench like this, you possibly need something more robust than this, but we're gonna figure that out. All right, let's get all this packaging out of here and lay out all the parts and we'll see how hard this thing is to put together. So here's the hardware kit that came with it. Looks pretty simple. Comes with a couple wrenches. Looks like all the same hardware mostly, which is nice. These should be our caster wheels, all breaking caster wheels. Soft rubber, that's nice. You should stick to the floor real nice. Tools you're gonna need, just a few. Phillips head screwdriver of some sort. 13 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench. Always grab the sockets also. So it comes with a 10 and a 13 mil wrench. And basically all the hardware is the same, except for these. You get four bolts and washers here. I like how they staple the bag so these aren't all over the box when you get it, which is nice. And all these have a Phillips head. Looks like we're gonna be using our screwdriver a lot. Last but not least, we have our hand crank for our table height adjustment. Metal, looks nice. So when you take it out of the box, it looks like it could be kind of intimidating, but it's really not that many parts. Tabletop, two legs. You got some spreader parts to cover the mechanical piece that goes between the legs for the height adjustment, and then you have two drawers. So we'll get our legs on, we'll get all these spreader parts connecting the legs together on the bottom of the table. And then we'll put the side pieces for the slides for the drawers and we'll put our drawers. Let's get it on the tabletop and let's see how it goes. Obviously the bottom is the part with all these nut certs installed so we can screw everything to the bottom. It says Husky right there. So this is the front of our table for reference. Mine came with a lot of cool knots in the wood on the bottom. And I kind of wish this was the top because this side's got a lot more character than the other side, but most folks probably just want it to be plain. Nice piece though, heavy tabletop. All right, so we're gonna install our first leg. We're gonna install the one with this mechanical piece right here. It's gonna go opposite the Husky. So you want it on this side over here because you want your mechanical crank to be obviously in the front of the table and not the back. So just four screws to attach. We're gonna use those M6 bolts, the ones we have a ton of, and there's four holes. There's one here, one here, and then corresponding ones on this side. We're just going to screw it to the table. I tend to leave stuff loose until I have everything installed, and then I'll go back and I'll retighten and actually tighten everything. So next up, we have this aluminum rod that spans across the bottom of the table. And what it does is it connects Mechanically, it connects the two legs together. So the rod just fits right on here. Like so. And it's gonna go on the other side. So it's gonna go from there to this one, which is gonna be on this side. And let's bolt this one down and stick the rod in there. 
and we'll have our legs connected together for the mechanical lift. So this is the cover that's going to attach to both ends here and then cover this whole thing. The cover does not go on once both legs are screwed down. So I would say before you put the four screws in that, get the cover over. So I'm going to pull this back just gently to try and keep this rod attached. And then we'll get that installed now because once you tighten this down, <laughs> you can't get this on. At least I couldn't. So now that we have this on, we'll put our four screws in this and then we'll put all our screws in that cover. So we're gonna put 18 screws. There's two, four, six, six in the bottom and then six on that side over there, right there. 18 of these M6 bolts with the Phillips and I already see a little problem. This side right here, these don't line up. Try loosening this and pulling it out just a little. The ones on the other side line up fine. Yeah, and there's no more movement in this. These two on this side were off just a little bit. You can see it's this, the threaded part is over just a little. The, all the other ones line up. I'm gonna tell you honestly, if I can't get one in here, I don't really care. I'll file this, I'll make this hole a little bigger, but. One out of 18 missing, I'm not really that worried about it. I don't think it's gonna make any difference at all. All right, time to install our spreader. The two holes on the ends either side and you have two options you can go right in the middle here or you could put it towards the back so if you're going to use it as a desk it's not where your feet are going to be and we're going to do the back one because this is in the end going to be a desk it came with four bolts m8 bolts 13 millimeter and we're going to use these four to attach it right there All right, so before we tighten down everything, we're just gonna make sure we're square. And we are. So you can use pretty much whatever you want. Square enough for me. Next up, drawer slides. Drawer slides are gonna mount, obviously, with the slides on the inside. And you have these three mounting points right there. And obviously this cutout here makes it fairly self-explanatory. We'll get three screws in there and we'll do the other side the same way. So these are screwed down but they're loose and then we have this plate right here. It has four holes, two on either side and it's gonna fit right on the back side there and we're gonna put the four screws from the back side here. Once I have those installed I'll tighten everything down. Nice locks on these. Snap off on their own. So the drawer is 20 gauge right there. These side plates are a little bit thicker at 18 gauge. So 18 gauge, 20 gauge, and then these side plates here are not quite an eighth, a little thinner than an eighth, but thicker than 14 gauge. They're about two and a half millimeters, which is probably the easiest way to describe them. So between the two. The sides here are pretty heavy duty steel. The drawer, not so heavy duty, but plenty good enough, I think. So after one use or one install, I should say, the little ring on here that's supposed to retain this in has crushed and now it's as loose as can be. It doesn't matter to me. It's not really a deal breaker. It works just fine, but it comes right out. Luckily, fits in the drawer. So that's probably where this will live. I don't really care if it's on the front of my desk all the time. Chances are I'm just gonna whack my leg on this thing anyway. 
So still works good. If it really mattered to me, I'd probably put some electrical tape around this until it was a snug fit and just shove it in there. And I'm sure that would be good enough. But just so you know, not a deal breaker for me, but not the best. So how long does it take to crank it all the way up? Just about 30 seconds. Installing and removing these drawers is really simple. You just pull out your slides, line your drawer up with the slides. It'll be a little tough to push in at first. It gets kind of stuck. But once it goes in once, it's good. Removing super simple. Press that down. One on either side. It comes right out of there. At six foot one, this is probably the best working height I can imagine. If I was gonna stand up and type, this is totally comfortable. Standing straight, typing, working. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. I don't know how much I'll really use it in reality because I've never had a table in my house that I could raise and lower, but we have a bar height table in our kitchen and I like working there and I can stand up. It's lower than this, you know, it's probably that high, but this is cool. I like it a lot. One of the big concerns I had when I bought this was this is pretty thick. I think seven and a half inches or so about seven and a half inches from the tabletop to the bottom of this drawer and you are pretty cramped this is 31 inches height and about where i would want it if i was going to use this as a sit down desk and i'm pretty much jammed underneath here now there's a simple solution to that And that's perfect. Now I have a ton of room. I still have a massive drawer that I don't even know what I'm gonna do with. The depth on these drawers is about an inch and three quarters or so. So, something odd shaped, no problem. So if you can live with one drawer, you can get more leg room. And this is more like what I would expect the desk to be as far as from the leg room to the top of the table but either way i think i can make it work not bad i possibly would have went with the 62 inch wide model for a little more desk space but we're going to use two of these in a reasonably small bedroom so space was a concern and that's why i went with the 52 also was on sale for 250 bucks which is a killer good deal for something this nice powder coat looks thick Almost no condition issues with the finish. There's a couple tiny nicks, but nobody's ever gonna see this in my house. It's not gonna be in my living room. Even if it had a few more condition issues, I wouldn't consider it a huge deal or a deal breaker. So this, for me, is gonna have a large curved monitor mounted to it for video editing and for working from home. I think this is gonna work perfect for me. I almost wanna keep it out here and use it as an outfeed table for my table saw because I don't have one and that is a big pain in the neck when you're doing anything large. So maybe a larger version of this for out here might get purchased and you might see it. We could use it as a presentation table for tool reviews. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Many different options, 42, 52, 62, 72 inches wide, 24 deep, without a huge price difference. Some of them had no drawer. You can get them no drawer, so you can get them two and I believe one also. There was a model or two that had one drawer. I really like this thing. I don't regret buying it. If I do regret buying it in the future, you'll be the first to know. So let me know if you guys have one of these and what you use it for because you could pretty much use it for anything with the holiday week i did a simple video we're coming out swinging next year we got a new table saw to check out keep an eye out for that thank you so much for watching my video if you feel inclined hitting the subscribe or hitting the like button really helps out the channel thank you so much i'll see you in the next video